Hi everyone, this is Megat from Interregister Communications in Denmark. We understand that managing your FMB business operations seamlessly is of utmost importance to you. That is why we are excited to present to you our affordable FMB system, the Kruger V12 Android POS system. With its intuitive interface, robust features, it goes beyond traditional POS system, empowering you to streamline transaction and enhance overall customer experience. This will be a brief overview of the hardware and software that makes a complete system solution for your restaurant. This machine comes in a dual screen interaction, a more intelligent two screen interaction that allows the same app to be displayed on both screens in a single system and all interactions can be easily implemented. It has HD resolution with 15.6 inch touch display 1366 by 768 resolution for vivid visuals. It also has a multi-interface design, a hidden multi-interface design that allows you to connect to cash drawers, scanning devices, printers, and much more other compatible devices. This is our POS system home screen. Let us log in first to proceed. And it will show you the, uh, the previous end of day. Then we press OK. Then it will show us the table layout of the restaurant. Here, as you can see, we have all the tables here. We can proceed the business by starting the business by pressing here. Start business. And then we could also put our cash deposit. For example, like we put 100. We press confirm. And then it started the shift already. So we can proceed to our simple transaction for now. Now let's start with a simple dine-in order. A couple came in and ordered some food and drinks. Their table number is number one. So the couple asked for nasi lemak, mie goreng, milo ice, and your teh ice limau. After we have taken the order from the customer, we can send the order to the kitchen and bar by pressing this whole button. And it will print out towards the kitchen and bar printer. Upon receiving the bill, the customer wanted to pay. So we go to their table number. And then we press payment here. It will bring you to the payment screen. They pay cash 20 ringgit. So what we have to do is go to cashier to see the option for cash, then press 20 ringgit here. And then we pay, pay cash. It will show you the payment type 20 ringgit here and the balance 70 cent. Then we continue. Customer paid 20 ringgit, we give them 70 cent. And then we give them the bill, the receipt. But sometimes, in certain situations, the order might get lost in the bar. So what we can do is, press the button, table button again, and then press order. Then, for example, the customer said their hot chocolate has not come yet. What we can do is reprint the receipt by pressing the item hot chocolate here, then pressing here, print button. It will show you the reprint logo, then we press hold to send the order back to the kitchen. And it will show you the bar receipt for the order here, hot chocolate, reprint. Let's have another example. A customer came in and ordered a few items, such as mac and cheese, a cheeseburger, hot chocolate, and Nescafe ice. But he had some other thoughts. He thought that he don't want the mac and cheese because it's too much. What we can do is, we press the item here, 
and then we press the trash can button here to void the item. As you can see, the bill here, the, the orders here, shows no. A customer came and ordered some food and drinks. Example, Korean ramen, hot coffee. But this customer is a regular customer, so the staff knows him as the regular. Considering he's a regular customer, they want to give him a discount. So, they can, you can press here. They want to give a discount for Korean ramen. You can press the item here, then press the discount button here. And it will show you here. Option to give discount. The staff wants to give him a 10 ringgit discount for his meal. So you just press 10 ringgit, then confirm. And it will show you the minus 10 ringgit. Another customer came in and ordered nasi lemak only. But he doesn't want the basic nasi lemak. He wants to add telur mata into the nasi lemak. What we can do here is to press the item and add the condiment for telur mata. It will show you the window pop up. You can add here telur mata. Then press OK. It will show you the condiment for telur mata plus the added price. After we have closed the shop, we can proceed to the end of the day by pressing these three dots button here. And it will show you the options. Then we press here end business. Are you sure you want to end business? Press OK. It will open the cash drawer and it will print the end of day for today. After ending the day, to review the reports, we need to log in. Press the three dots button again. It will show you the report here. Press here. These are all the reports options that you can see. Now, let's see here. We search for category. Now we press here. We show you the report for this date and time. And we could also print that. Shows you the report for category for that date and time. You may contact us here to get your specific questions answered or for more personalized software demonstration. Thank you for taking time to watch this video and we are looking forward to work with you in the future.